What is going on, lunatics? Thank you so much for having a little bit of patience. Yesterday, I had my wisdom teeth removed, which, uh, yikes, it's two days ago. Anyway, uh, so I couldn't talk very well yesterday. Uh, I might s a little bit today if I do. Ah. Anyway, thank you so, so much for tuning in. We got some updates for you. Uh, Leonardo Ceramic, we've got the next step. It just came out one hour ago. Let's kick it off and let's talk about it. if you like this type of content, you know what to do. All right, one hour ago, Ceramic just posted, I have published an update. The theory is done. We now move on to the implementation as we have faced and address the realities of Lunk. So uh, this is the idea. In conjunction with the CMM, which is a collateral market maker, and CLO, collateral loan obligation module, will also be developed to help fill the collateral basket and allow for USTC staking. Ideally, we would like to create these modules on the Lunk blockchain, but looking at the chain in more detail, we're not sure if this is feasible. If it cannot be done, the CMM and CLO will be developed on a different blockchain, i.e. Polygon, and then bridged to uh, Terra Classic. Once the ecosystem is mature enough to support the module, they will migrate to Terra Classic. Also, we want to finish discussions with several people to help us gauge the initial demand for the new stablecoin. If the initial demand for the new stablecoin is projected to be minor, the CLO will be developed and deployed first. Now, the CLO, by the way, the the, the uh, collateral loan obligation module, um, I'm not sure exactly how this would implement and play out, but stick with me. Uh, so we're at the, uh, there we go, the white paper. We're not having the Commonwealth discussion. You'll notice that that's been uh, updated there. So um, we expect to publish V3 of the white paper on November 21. We have had zero pushback at the theory level. Everything has been about the implementation. Splitting the WP WPs out at the beginning of September made sense, but today that is no longer a valid. Uh, now that we have a community endorsement of the theory, it's all about implementation. So the idea here now is that uh, people have had a chance to digest it. Nobody has a specific problem. We're just looking again at implementation. So we're closer and closer to the repeg. So shout out to everybody. Guys, you were about to make it. Now, again, when we talk about Commonwealth, there's nothing on Commonwealth other than the dashboard access. And to be clear here, uh, both of those proposals did pass with flying colors that we were talking about the last couple of days. So uh, both of those are cleared for takeoff. And that means... Um, good things, not great, but good things uh, for the ecosystem. Now, as far as price goes, uh, the, the Luna Classic price still continuing to pump. Uh, everything else, you know, just kind of listless at this moment. It won't stay that way, of course. There will be moments here this thing is going to take off and it's going to start ripping. We just haven't reached that point yet where it where it really takes off, okay? The, the ecosystem still, we haven't gotten, there's been limited amounts of some of these cryptos out here pumping just just limited amounts we really haven't seen something big take off yet to the extent that we would get excited by it and say wow here we go we're just not there but uh, we're getting closer uh, now as far as uh, cryptos cookie down about 11 percent today uh, Terra down 2.8 percent Garuda X down one percent but again these are these are lunk or USTC pairings so some of them be up some of them be down as Luna classic pumps etc so but what does Luna Classic look like? Well, after we had a nice spike up here uh, into this range right here. And by the way, this is where you should get uh, excited. We're going to move to this so you can see a little bit better. This is where you can get excited. Now, what did I tell you? I told you that there was this long-term sort of downward channel that we were facing, right? And that we needed to break out of that. Well, what, what happened? We ended up breaking out. Not only did we break out, you can see here that we've had two successful back tests over the last couple of days. And what did I tell you? Once we have a couple successful back tests, then the next move is to take off, right? So uh, I would suspect that if this is success, and by the way, we're up $60 billion on the day for the market. So, um, you know, we need capital to continue to, to pour in, to continue to build confidence. But what I would suspect is we're gonna get another move up here, this time actually clearing into uh, 11,549. This range right here would probably be the, where the next rejection is. Now, the one thing that I do want to point out is uh, what we're looking for is this going down, this going down, but then we got the spike right here. This actually went upwards. It was a slight upwards movement and it could be attributed to at least a double top, right? We can look at this as maybe a double top, but the question at that point becomes, did we double top and create a bearish divergent, meaning that we're headed down. And the answer to that is a resounding no, we did not. You can see right here, uh, this is the move right here to here, right here to here. 
and then here to here, and then over here and here. This is Donald Trump has won the 2024 election and will be your president, the first pro-crypto president. Bitcoin currently trading at around $87,000. This is the ideal moment for effective management of your own investment portfolio. Since 2019, Cryptonomy has experienced exponential and substantial growth with revenue closing near 2.4 billion euros and insurance coverage of up to 6.1 billion on all company assets. Now, listen, guys, the big move here for me in my fixed staking pool, I'm going to go all in on a little bit more XRP. I've got 5,900 XRP right now. I'm going to go into the nine month for 71% return. We're going to continue. We stayed close to 6,000 XRP just now with a 71.8% return over nine months. This launch pool is blowing up. As you can see right here, open serve just went 7X. We're getting a significant yield off of that. We got 1.9 on Satoshi Dex. We had a 2.58 on Tap Protocol, 2.1 on Talent, 3.1 on Cross. All right, guys, we're going 10 Ethereum into a bronze tier contract end date November 12, 2025. I expect to make a return of at least a decent amount, 50% profit sharing. When we got that last one, it was 7X. So I'm gonna assume here that this is gonna be a real good play. If you haven't already, don't forget myself, Dean DCA, Clint, Lift Capital, Aaron Burke, we're all doing articles uh, for this organization. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about cryptocurrency, then this is the place to go. You wanna go to cryptonomy.finance slash research. Also, if you haven't already, sign up for their Telegram. The links are in the descriptions down below. And in the next two weeks, there's gonna be a couple of big updates brought to you by all of us regarding cryptonomy.finance. Start investing now. Basically straight across, there's no bearish divergence right there, which it's just a very simple thing, but it just means that people who are already investors are just continuing to buy up basically. And they're, they're trying to get people to enter and we're not creating new investors. This means we're creating new investors. So, and that's a good thing. That's exactly what we want to see. So um, again, expect this move right here, then expect us some, some testing right there and then a breakout to this 14 and then eventually into this golden zone. I've changed my drawing to white so you guys can see it, um, but the, the everything still remains as far as USTC goes. Uh, as this repeg discussion starts to really happen again, expect to see this kind of move right here that we just kind of fly up into this range, maybe even testing that 10 cent range that I was giving you guys uh, earlier this year. Uh, I do still think that it's on the table. It just takes a little bit of motivation, a little bit of, look, Bitcoin, is ready for let's call it 96 to 98,000. We're going to go around, you know, 97, somewhere between 96 and 98,000 in our next impulse move. And it is coming, right? It is coming. And that will lead to a surge in everything else. And it's just a question of what catches fire. If USTC catches fire, 10x from here, just very simple, just a, a bang, it will take off. Now, if it doesn't, um, it will, I, I guess I should say. So I wouldn't worry about that. Many people are going to start to find out about all of this stuff that's going on. The discussion is going to be real about the repeg and people are going to get excited and they're going to want to ape in early and then we'll see what it looks like. As far as volume goes, still running at about 65 million volume over here on, um, on USTC, still running at about 23 million volume. So volume continues to shine. What does that mean for burns? 414 million burns. Now remember, we're talking about less than 300,000 normally every seven days. We wanna see it be over 300 million, currently at 414 million. So that's a pretty good amount. And when you come over here, you you do see that, you know, part of it was that one really big day that we had over here, 165 billion uh, million burned on that day. And then two days later, we had 72 million burned. So the significant burns are happening, except for today, by the way, uh, except for today. But uh, when you come through here, you really not see anything on USTC. And again, we want to stress here that when you go look at top holders and you look at USTC, then you are still looking at 290 million from Terraform Labs and 1.8 billion from uh, the Luna Foundation Guard. Don't know why they're allowed to just keep it open and, and allowed to continue sitting on it in violation of this bankruptcy agreement. But they're working with the courts, so the courts are allowing them. And look, the courts don't work for us, so not much that we can do. Uh, all they do is file for an extension or something like that to, to keep it going for a longer period of time. Now, the other thing is um, some of this stuff could be sold in order to pay debt. Uh, could be that they're about to dump 290 million on the open market in order to satisfy a four billion dollar judgment against them. I, you know, I don't know that that's the case or not. I don't think that it is, but you know, they were required to burn these wallets and they're still not burned. So, some real questions still remain. Speaking of questions. Why have you not signed up for Terra Casino yet? They're giving away 2 million euros between now and December 22nd. You can also play Multiplier Rush uh, along with B Gaming. 
in conjunction and partnership to win up to 3000 by November 17th. That's going to be on Sunday. Why wouldn't you take a shot? Sign up at the description uh, in the link down below and get started today. Otherwise, um, what's wrong with you? Bruh. Also, uh, Terra Casino or TerraPort.finance. Uh, this is where you go for your meme coins. Uh, we're going to claim all of our rewards. We're going to uh, uh, we're going to claim everything. Uh, do our unstake all process. Oh wait, we're going to claim. All right, we're going to claim and execute our contract here. Uh, we got an extra sixty six. You know, not a huge amount, but um, it, it's what we got from staking for two weeks. So now we've got that. Uh, now we're going to unstake all. All right, now we're successful, and now we're going to stake everything one more time, 100% uh, of that. Boom. Okay, so we're locked in with 10,765 Terra. Uh, where are we on the launch pad? should be about 84. It's 87. So in a couple of days, uh, we'll be at that 10,000 number. Uh, it says that I'm missing 1,290 Terra. Uh, it's, again, it's on average, so I'd have to buy about 12,000 more to get there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm, you know, not today. So anyway, um, there you have it. That's what's going on. Also, uh, playing Rocket Defense. If you haven't already, uh, Rocket Defense always got something going on. And I am currently ranked number eighth overall because I've been playing. I still haven't unlocked Mars in the moon yet. Uh, I'm still working on the Earth level. But as you guys can see, um, um, uh, my gem reward right now predicted to be 3,000 new gems. Um, and guys, it's, it's that simple. It, it's absolutely that simple. All you have to do is is go play Rocket Defense today. It's a tower defense game. I was having a great time with it yesterday. I actually didn't lose. I actually had to stop, and I had to stop at that point uh, with the eighth place ranking. So now, now I think I'm gonna have to come in here and beat the brakes off of these other people. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, that's the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. I think this thing is gonna start breaking out pretty soon. Make sure you get your backpack.